Hi, this is Debbie Mom coming in from the Chicagoland area to show you today how great Pento water is compared to some other drinks that we have here. Pento water, I spent $2.25 on this bottle of Pento water at a health food store, and it is touted on their website as um, alkaline, at a 10 point, at saying that they are 10.0 alkaline, also that they are full of antioxidants. So let's, let's check and see. I have an ORP meter here. This is not an expensive meter, but it does give you the ballpark figure of ORPs. And ORPs, if you don't know, are oxidation reduction potential. So we're testing to see how many antioxidants are in, the, in your beverages. And what if it's done by the processing of your drinks? Either it is high in antioxidants, which means it is anti-aging you, slowing down the aging process, or if you have oxidants, it's um, speeding up, like when an apple is cut up and, and oxygen makes it turn brown. Then that's making you age quicker. So obviously, I don't know about you, but I'd like to have a drink that slows down the aging process. So we have our, I have Penta. Let me quickly show you. I poured Penta here. Okay, Penta water. I've got tap water from my area. Okay. And we have Congan water, which is a... Um, is tap water going through my common water machine? Okay, here I have an ORP meter. Turn it on. And this will, we want the we want the lowest number as possible because the, the lower the number, the slower you age. The higher your number, the faster you age. So we don't want a high number. Let's start with the tap water. Give us a number here. Okay, it's in the positive range. 300. Going up pretty quickly. Okay, it's tap water, 350. Probably going to hit 400. Let's try a pent of water. Okay, remember it's positive numbers. Positive, 325. Okay, it's positive. Let's go over to our condom water. Rapidly going down. Okay, we're at minus 200. Still going down. So we've got minus 250 compared to the Penta water, which again is going up quickly and into the positive range. Okay, I'm going to spend a lot of time with that. Let's see now how microclustering works. And microclustering, water comes out of your tap in big chunks, big clumps. They, they stick together. The molecules stick together. So, we're going to use a tea bag as one of, to pretend this is a, one of your cells in your body. And what we want is water or your liquid that actually penetrates into your cells and gets the nutrition or whatever have you, your hydration into your system. So, if it pulls out tea quickly, then we know it's microclustering. Okay, let's try. We'll get the tea bag nice and wet. It's just a lift and Lipton tea bag, green tea. This is cold water, room temperature water, in our tap water. And it started to change colors. Okay. Let's try our Kangen water. Wow, changes colors rapidly. Okay, the tea is coming out of there very fast because this water molecule is very small and the water is getting into your cells and letting all the, nutri letting all the nutrients in and out of your cells. Let's try Penta. Not so much, okay? So I don't think the Penta water has microclustering factor to it. Okay, let's quickly dump. Try condom. And dump out this. Pour a little more Penta water into our cup. Okay, just for sake of time, and I can do the tap water right now. And here I have um, pH drops, and the pH drops are going to just show what pH levels our water's at. And past studies have shown, history has shown over time, that disease cannot live 
um, in an alkaline state. So we want to make the body as alkaline as possible. So we would like our waters to come in the pH range. This is acidic and this is alkaline. So we would like it to be closer to the purple. Blue or purple is a better uh, pH level for healthy, healthy water. If you have, are drinking acidic drinks that are coming in this range, then that would um, invite disease and things to thrive in your body. So let's put a few drops in our pent water. Do four drops and four drops in our condom water. Okay, stir it up a little bit. Pretty obvious. Pentel water says that they are 10.0, which they should be purple. Purple? No. Condom water? Purple. So, your choice. Do you want to spend over $2 a bottle on pentel water? That is truly not alkaline, as they say. It may have been when they put it in the bottle. When I bought this bottle, the man at the health food store said, so I asked him where the expiration date was. He said there are no expiration dates on it. He said, this bottle could actually sit in, in the back of, his, back of his store or on trucks for up to two years. So I could have their old water. Maybe, maybe when they poured it, it was 10.0. It's not anymore. And it's not alkaline. It doesn't have any accidents. So your choice. So I hope you learned something today. This is Debbie Mo from the Better Water. Dot com.